kitchen sinks get a lot of use and can start to look worn over time. Replacing your sink can freshen up the look of your kitchen. The technique may vary depending on your product, so check your manufacturer's instructions for specific directions or refer to Home Depot's Home Improvement 123 books for more tips. Start by clearing out the cabinet below the sink. Put an old cushion in front of the cabinet to reduce pressure on your knees and back and lay out your tools and supplies. Use a flashlight to improve visibility and wear safety glasses to protect your eyes. Put a small bucket under the water valves to catch the water trapped in the line. Turn the water off at the shutoff valves under the sink or the main shutoff valve for the house. Remove the sink clips holding the sink onto the countertop. There are usually two to four clips on a sink. Then, loosen the slip nuts on the drain using an adjustable wrench. With a basin wrench, remove the coupling nuts connecting the supply tube to the faucet tailpiece. Disconnect any additional plumbing for dishwashers, garbage disposals, or sink sprayers. Only remove your faucet if it's attached to the sink or will be attached to your new sink. Use a utility knife to slice through the caulking around the rim of the sink. The sink should now lift easily from the countertop. Place an old cloth in the top of the drains to prevent debris falling in or water backflow spilling in the cabinet. Check for water damage to the countertop and clean any excess caulking from the rim using a putty knife. Now you're ready to install the new sink. If your new sink is a slightly different shape to the old one, you may need to cut the countertop to make more space. Tape the sink template that comes with the packaging onto the countertop. If your sink doesn't come with a template, you may need to cut one to the shape of the sink with cardboard. Drill a pilot hole for the jigsaw and cut around the template outline. Now, check that the sink fits into the larger opening. All good? Remove the new sink and clean the sawdust off the surface. Place the sink upside down on the countertop and attach the rubber gasket or run a bead of silicone caulk around the edge. Turn the sink over again and fit it into the opening. Press firmly around the edge. In the cabinet below, attach the sink to the countertop using sink clips. Drop the drainage baskets into the sink and screw them in place. Reconnect the drains to the new sink and tighten them with an adjustable wrench. Drop the faucets in place and connect them to the water supply lines. Check out the How to Install a Faucet video online for more tips on connecting faucets. Apply clear silicone caulking around the edge of the sink and clear excess with your finger. Your kitchen has a fresh new look. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Here's a reminder of the tools and material you'll need to complete this project.